This topic consists of the following subtopics, topic instructions, DLPI introduction. Click the buttons on the navigation bar to view the above topics. For the first time users, it is advisable to follow the sequence listed above. For the subsequent users, it is advised to view the topics in any sequence. Please feel free to revisit the subtopics. To skip the topic, you can click the default Next button or the buttons on the navigation bar. On single line, trains are normally worked with electrical token block instruments. This token is the tangible authority for the driver of a train to take his train into the block section. Since the token transfer can be done only by the technical staff who have access to the interior of the instruments, it would take considerable time of the skilled staff for unskilled work. Therefore, non-token electric block instruments are used on double line sections. On double line sections, since token instrument cannot be utilized on account of unidirectional traffic, the authority to proceed for the driver is the off aspect of last stop signal. To ensure compliance with the rules and for ensuring safety, it thus becomes necessary to interlock block signals with block instruments and thus we get what is known as lock and block working. In this method, the signal and block indications can never conflict. Lock and Block The object of lock and block working is to ensure that a train which has been accepted and signaled forward must clear the section and also signals replace the danger behind it before a following train can be accepted and signaled forward. Lock and Block is defined as a system of block signaling wherein the passage of trains electrically controls the block instrument, which in turn electrically controls the signals. Interlocking between BI and signals. The following are the essential requirements of interlocking between block instrument and signals on the double line. It shall not be possible to take off the last stop signal to permit a train to leave a block station until line clear has been received from the block station in advance. The entry of the train into the block section shall cause the last stop signal to be replaced to on. Means shall be provided to prevent line clear being given by the block station in advance until the whole of the preceding train has cleared the block section, the overlap and also that the block signals have been replaced to on. This lock and block working or interlocking between block instrument and signals to regulate the train movements safely on double line section is achieved with the use of double line block instruments along with advanced starter replacement track circuit, block clearance track circuits and with other necessary arrangements.